Good evening, and welcome to e-commerce news by Managed by Stats, bringing you Amazon and e-commerce news that you need to hear when you need to hear it. With your host, Justin Coleman, and your co-host, Jade Coleman. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of e-commerce news by Managed by Stats. I'm Justin Coleman. And I'm Jade Coleman. Our first story, we are still receiving complaints from our users that accounts and listings continue to be shut down by Amazon. They're being told the violation is for accessing more than one account without permission. While we are unaware of anything in the terms of service forbidding access to multiple accounts, it clearly doesn't prevent Amazon from automatic closure. In many cases, all of the offender's accounts and the account accessed are being deactivated without warning. One seller commented that Amazon stated to him that the crackdowns are in response to fraud. Alibaba.com has taken a cue from Amazon's Prime Days and extended their Singles Day to two weeks. It's named Singles Day, having evolved from Chinese Bachelor's Day, which is a big shopping holiday. Singles Day is typically held on November 11th. For Prime Day, Amazon grossed $10.4 billion in two days, which is $1.5 billion less per day than Alibaba's Singles Day, for anyone that's keeping score. Amazon Live, similar to QVC or Home Shopping Network, had a boost over Prime Day. Influencers were informed of Prime exclusive deals, allowing them to create live videos of featured products. Hosts talk about and demonstrate products available for sale in the live shows. Beneath the video, shoppers have access to the listings where they can browse product details and make purchases. I want to be live. I think I'd be great on camera, but I suppose I have too busy of a life to be a film star, you know what I mean? An interesting tidbit, viewers of Telemundo, a division of NBC Universal, have combined shopping with their online viewing. In October, the company launched Shop Telemundo, an interactive shopping experience that spans the company's TV, digital, editorial, and social platforms. The Macy's Day Parade may signify a new era for department stores and malls. This year, due to COVID, the parade will only be viewable online. This is a prevailing trend of the year as over 50% of department stores and malls are projected to close by 2021. In important dates, we don't really have anything we haven't already covered. So as far as we know, Christmas will still be the 25th of December, and if everything goes according to scientifically planned, the 31st will be the end of 2020, the most epically unique year in recent history. We know that everyone will be praising hallelujah on January 1st, 2021. In fakish news, loosely based on reality, we discovered Alexa has been listening to our newscasts. Recently, our accounts were deleted by Facebook after Alexa gave the order to remove dissenters. Everything's fine. We're all fine. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of e-commerce news. Happy holidays. Cheerio. Good morning. Morning. No pants today? Oh, uh, my legs were looking a little bit pale and uh, I, so I figured, you know, couldn't hurt to get some extra vitamin K on them. Whatever. It's vitamin D, by the way. It should be vitamin S for sun, but I'm not a scientist. Mm -hmm.